All right, and welcome back. I'm your man, Ben Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air, and I'm on the trailer hitch. Uh, got that done last night. Well, let's come in and take a look at it. What we're going to do today, though, is we're going to try to pe piece this piece in here. Um, we're going to put the other panel in. Uh, we've got one, two, we've got three. We're going to put the one on this side. And now that I have the trailer hitch put on, uh, if you want to come in and take a look at it, there's one. You're right there. You can see it with the camera. I don't have to tell Jolene what to do. Jolene looks amazing this morning. Woke up at seven, looking like a ten and a half. Um, this is what we got going on. As we did yesterday, uh, I welded this square stock on here. I would say that's probably quarter inch thick square stock on here, coming down to bring the trailer hitch out the back. Uh, with, with that welded on there and brought down like that, there was no real strength you know with the, there was you know a little bit it'd be hard to rip it off but there was no strength for towing a trailer so what happened was I, I you know I just used my brain and tried to anchor it down so it would not take off anywheres where generally you generally you know if you look at a trailer hitch it's bolted to the frame and your trailer hitch comes off your frame um, and then you have your trailer hitch you basically you probably would have about four bolts holding your hitch on five bolts six bolts maybe but I, I didn't have that opportunity and the reason being is I, my hitch is way down here I didn't want it coming out through the back of of, of the bum of the truck uh, I'm making a tow rig out of this bad boy I am not making a tanker out of it I'm, I'm using it for inspiration but as as I got putting the, the tow hitch down here outside the body there was no real, no real strength of bolting it down there and bringing it way down here and then pulling it out. There was no, no real strength or opportunity for that, basically. The gas tank is right up there by the frame. Um, this is, I keep saying this, this is a unibody truck. Um, everything is together. Like, there's nothing that comes off except the wheels and the engine. That's, that's the way it was made. Um, so when, when I welded this on here, I'm thinking that this is nice and strong to hold this. When we got it out here, we welded it to the round piece out here. So we got one point of connection right here on the outside of the body to make it stay where it needs to stay. We have all this here that's welded to the body, so that would be two connections to make it stay where it needs to stay. Uh, then I have um, it mounted to the floor and coming down, and we have two of those, so we have four places of of contact on the mat on the tow hitch um, I seen um, I was picking up the phone as sometimes as the messages come in I seen that someone says well oh you're allowed to spot weld trailer hitches on well um, if you do not know the frame in this truck is spot welded to the floor so if I hook the trailer hitch to the fl the trailer hitch to the frame, it's spot welded to the floor. Where I've spot welded the metal to the floor is the exact same thing. I've <laughs> basically, this is an anchor for a mount. That's that's all that is. It's not to hold the the to hold the trailer hitch or anything. It's a it's a it's a mount to weld to to hold the trailer hitch. As I have this mounted to the floor, you would never pull that off. If I was pulling on that, you would never pull that off that floor where it's spot welded in. Where you have the frame bolted to the floor, it would be the exact same thing. If they're allowed to do it, I'm allowed to do it. But as you can see, as it got this mount here and coming down to the back to the trailer hitch, there's no possible way, well, there's no saying no possible way, there would have to be some mega strength to pull that piece of square stock off or pull it in half to let this go down. There's no, like, you'd have to, the front of the truck is moving. So there's no, it'd be quite a, quite a pull to pull that off. And all that was, was an anchor for it so it can be welded to, so it cannot come off. I did not want to just use what I had welded on the back here for the mount, and I just made it better. So then when you're thinking about this coming down, I think I've got it tied in here pretty good. We've got it tied in here pretty good. We've got four places where it's connected. So when you get towing something, then you're going back and forth. You want that back and forth thing going on. Then it's mounted again from this corner over to that corner, which is mounted to this piece, well to this piece. So we've got another couple places of contact for that not to move. Then there's another one on the other side that goes over that corner, this corner, and welded on that piece. That's another place where it cannot go back and forth and sideways. You would have to push all this off. You'd have to rip this off the frame. You'd have to rip that off the frame. 
you'd have to bend that, you'd have to bend that, you'd have to bend that, you'd have to bend all this. Not gonna happen. When you come, oh, you'd have to come to this side. Where, where I've got this here now, and I'm thinking that's probably good enough, I just went one step further. I welded a piece of square stock from here up to the piece that's welded onto the frame. So you'd have to shove this piece of square stock through the frame of the truck, up through the floor to bend that down. So when the pressure comes down on that, if this, piece, if this bar is not taking it, um, you're gonna, and this bar is not taking it, and you've bent that, and you've bent that, and you've bent that, and you've bent them all over there, you still have this one here that goes from the back side of this up to the frame. So there's, so you have to think about it. You'd have to pull this off, bend that up through the frame, and bend all this to, to move that. So I'm thinking that, or no, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like I'm about 99% sure that we're all good to, to tow anything that we want it to on that. And what's going on, it's a unibody truck. Um, all the frame is unibody, it's spot welded to the floor. There's no end of the frame to shove anything in or bolt anything on, everything is spot welded together. And if they can spot weld their floor on the frame, that means I can spot weld a mount on the frame. Um, that's, that's how you know, that's how you know what you can do is from things that you take apart or things that you see that other companies do or other vehicles do and then you know you're allowed to do it. So I really feel like that trailer hitch uh, would not go anywhere. So you'd have to, you'd have to picture it, you'd have to bend everything in the back to move that. You really would, you'd have to bend everything. And uh, that would be a lot of strength to bend all that. I, I can guarantee you one thing. There's no frame and no truck any stronger than all that. <laughs> if you know what I'm trying to tell you. There's, there's no frame. There's no frame that's thicker than that, thicker than that, and has that many braces. There's no, there's, there's no way. Anyways, continue on. I'm satisfied with it. I just want to explain. Some people think, you know, um, yeah. Yeah, so let's put a piece in here and continue on. So I'm using this truck for a, a tow truck. Like I, basically that's what I'm gonna use it for. Uh, I'm not using it as delivering fuel or anything like that. I'm being inspired from the tanker and we're going from there. I have a piece of metal that Doug rolled for me earlier and uh, I'm gonna use it. It basically uses the shape of what we got going here on the floor. Um, that's, this is the shape that we're using. And it looks pretty good, he did pretty good. No, he did really good. And sometimes that machine that we use, sometimes it does not roll out the same every time, it does not. Uh, on the ends of that machine, it stops, and it gives you a little kink and a bend, because you cannot roll it all the way through. When you roll it all the way through, then you have to feed it, you have to loosen it back up again, feed it back in. With that machine, there's a certain distance where it has to stay in there, and it leaves a kink on the end of it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut that off. I don't wanna start with a kink. I don't got a kink. Now, I have this here. We're going to weld. This is going to be another point of contact to hold the trailer hitch. As I put this on here, you have to, well you don't have to, but you have to realize or should realize that's another point of contact. We've got, if you, if you, if you look at it, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 points of contact on the thing that breaks the shins. 10 points of contact. This is the end that we cut off. Now, what I'm gonna do is, I got, a, on the, I got one on the other side, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna measure it down and figure out where we need to be. He he. Where we need to be. I'm gonna go on the far side. Let's 
just going to mark that far side. And if it's not exactly, it, 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 it doesn't much matter to me, to be honest with you. It's not exactly. You're never going to see by the eye. So, I've got this one here. Just be careful when you're, well, you know, be careful. Um, you do whatever you please. But uh, when you're doing this tape trick, if you pull the tape too, too hard, well, then you're obviously going to stretch the tape and you're going to get a different, a different mark. So I'm saying that right here is where we're going with our square stock. We can take that off now. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. It's a very hot day here in Nova Scotia. Wow, it's hot. Not as hot as Jolene, but it's hot. It's hot. So we're going from there down to, did I say that was the that's the bottom. So we're going to there, to there. Threw that marker back in my pocket, and I, and I need that marker. I threw, that was the very bottom of it, was it not? I'm pretty sure it was. Come on, Chetty. Losing your brain this morning, buddy. Losing your brain this morning. going to try that on there. Check it out and see if it was. I'm pretty sure it was. I stared it on the... It's almost as bad as the tape measure. It's just so it's on the bottom. That's generally why I use that, that tape and stuff like that, because sometimes I get going with the tape measure. Um, it's hard to remember what you were doing. Cheeseburger, hear that cheeseburger bird out there, baby? Cheeseburger. I'm gonna cut this away. It'll be a couple cuts for before I get it right. No doubt in my mind. On the very first panel, we're getting closer. On the very first panel um, that we put on this, this panel went on fantastic. Exact same panel, I had to shrink it. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure that one went on fantastic. Now I'm hoping this one goes on fantastic. And who knows, I might have to shrink it. Who knows? And it's just the way that you put it on, just the way that you put it on. Whoop. Enough of that. Let's cut another little slice off it. That, that fits really good there. I'm going to cut that end. And I see. I'm going to cut that end.
too. You should put down that. Can you help me this morning? Do you want to help me? I can. Do you need to take your shoes off? One second. <clears throat> Yeah, that's fine. I'll tack it on there. Alrighty, let's get the rock and rolling. Dickery dickery dock. And this might have to be moved, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack it on. And then when I get my piece on, then I'll really know what I have to do. Huh? Sold that, sir. Got a hold of it? Tack. Okay. So I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut it to fit. That on there. I just closed my eyes and uh, hit it with the welder. So I'm going to put one more tack on. That should be good to hold it. Now we need a piece of metal to put on it. That piece of square stock that I've got there, it sure did get twisted bad when it put in the roller. And what I mean by twisted, it's not, it didn't go straight. Um, yeah, so we've got that on there like that. Just checking it out. Now let's get a piece of metal rocking and rolling here. The metal is being used, that's for sure. We're using 18 gauge. Anything on the floor, when you put the stuff down, it will cause a bend in it. Oh, I don't want that underneath the wheel. I don't want that underneath the wheel. And I have a pattern already because we done one and I used the pattern from the first one uh, when we did the very first piece you watched I don't know if you watched or not but we did the, the very first piece um, and then I just added on to it or cut away from it. that's basically all that happened this one here there's no real straight edge it really is a piece of what pizza Eat fun, have pizza. You know how that goes. Alrighty. These magnets are very useful. I've, I've used, I use them more and more all the time. And uh, thank you very much for the people that give them to me. Thank you very much. I use them more and more all the time. Yeah, we get a marker rock and roll in here. Wow. 
All right, I think I used it, I made a little bit. When I made this panel, I added to it a little bit, so I'm gonna add a little bit to it over here. Just gotta remember that, that's all. And I hope that that works out good for me. Also, um, I think that as you see the trailer hitch I was talking about, um, all the square stock I used and how I triangled tri it. Ah! Jesus, not, drawing, not, not tracing very good this morning. I'm pretty sure, but um, Ferrari makes their cars out of square stock. Frames them up anyways. So Jim's car would be squared up out of square stock. And triangled and, and framed up so um, it's strong. And basically where I, where I go to in my brain when I'm making something like that, like that trailer hitch, as to where, where, all the, where all the pressure is going, what has to happen to bend something, you know? If you think, you know, if you think about it, when you step on that, like I said, that would have to shove that square stock up in through that frame, and I really don't feel like um, there's any trailer that's shoving a piece of straight metal up through a frame. There's our piece of pie. That's a big, pretty big piece of pie, isn't it, baby? You want a piece of pie that big? Me neither. It looks like it had been eating pie that big, though, doesn't it? <laughs> Piece of metal on the side of the eye. You seen it? I had my eye eyes, my eye goggles on, but I took a piece of metal on the side of the eye. All right, let's get. It. I like to just, just put my boot underneath the metal. That way, there I keep it up off the floor and just runs along quite nice. Let's try a super duper one. We've got a six inch one here. Hope I'm not cutting my knuckles off, but I'm gonna go for it. Not fitting on the greatest. We'll make it fit, how's that? We'll make it fit. So I have to be careful on this one. Watch my fingers. <sighs> Back here, I guess. Ah, 
the top sometimes. She's the cat. Let's do it again. Cutting a piece of metal like that. Yes. 
Hmm. Yes, that was nice that that's done. All right, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take off the Sharpies on the end of it, on the edge of it, so I don't cut myself. Now, with this piece that I have, ugh, I do not know, I do not know, I'm gonna wipe it off. I do not know which, which, uh, which side I want. And the reason being is because um, I never marked the top part of the pattern, I probably should have. So I don't know if I'm cleaning the back side or I'm cleaning the front side, I do not know. And also, um, that took a while because I'm making the whole back of a truck. <laughs> you know, if you know what I'm trying to say, like um, if you were cutting a little tiny piece for a bottom of a fender, nice and quick. But what you're making um, something like I'm making right now, it's a big piece. It's a big piece. It takes more time. Alrighty. What I have to do is I have to figure out um, which side I want. This looks like the side because of this bend right here down. That looks like the side. That looks like the side. And that square stock is not, not in place whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some, hard to do by yourself, hard to do. Um, I, I know where, where I'm going. I have to make it ha have to make it stay there. If you know what I'm trying to tell you, I have to. I know what side I'm using. I have to make it stay. If you know what I'm trying to say. That's the longest one. That's the longest place. All right. That far enough down there is it? Can you see? That far enough down there? All right. No, it's all right. Good enough metal? To be moved, the square stock has to be moved. And I need to cut that better. Let's do this.
that's not it. That's not it. True life struggle, people. True life struggle. struggle. here and I have This piece of square stock has to be turned. Yes, it does. And that's okay. And that's okay. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that piece of metal I got there right now, I got it tacked on right there. Got it tacked on right there. We got a nice line on this side. I'm overlapped a little bit right here. That just means I'm gonna take the zip cut, take a little bit out of that. I'm overlapped down here a little bit. I'm gonna take a zip cut, take a little bit out of that. Got that trailer hitch on there in the way. I knew that was gonna be a little bit of an issue, but that's what I was doing, so. Um, I have. <clears throat> So everything's basically in place. I'm gonna undo that. No, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that little tack on there. That doesn't hurt anything. But I'm gonna take this tack off back here. And the reason being is I've got to turn that up to get it underneath that bed boy. Uh, which one are we gonna zip off? Um, bottom one. Got two tacks on that. One tack on the bottom, one tack on the top. I'm just gonna roll it up so it works. Do you love me? I'm gonna take and get that halfway, where it fits halfway. Seems to be nice there. Oh, I want a little bit stronger. What do I mean by stronger? Better grip. Checking it out. All right. Now, now, now we're cooking with gas. All right, now I've got it in place. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld that on there. And it's nice to have that pattern because I would not know 
you would not know. I, I can tack. It's, it's all tacked on the right place, though. I do, but I don't know whether this piece goes this way or that way or whatever. So, and having the pattern for one side helps me put it on the other side. Uh, no, 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 uh, that's good. Uh, what's going on here? Not feeling comfortable with the helmet for some reason. Well, this bad boy on. What a time welding them square stock on there yesterday. Wow. Getting in there. Did you come off? Or is that just the metal? Huh? It was the ruler. I always blame it on the ruler too. Yeah, we'll weld this bad boy in here. Welding another point of contact for the hitch. Alrighty. Going on the inside. Lock that bad boy on the inside. I suppose we can pluck it on the inside after I get this. After I get that dealt with. This spot here I want to weld. Beautiful. Miles and miles and miles of welding going on. Miles and miles and miles. And the reason I say miles of welding is because everything has to be welded up. And I'll probably get, come talk to my queen Jolene, see what she says at nighttime and stuff. We'll get a little tack there to hold it. Everything's looking good. Everything's looking good. Not as good as Jolene, but it's looking good. All right. Let's get a little marker going here. We've got to cut that pattern again. I had to cut it on the other side, but basically it's just getting started to where we need to go. Where I have this piece here like this, once we get this connected up here, when I start roll pushing that down, rolling that over top of that, and rolling it over top of that square stock, it really does help a lot in the manufacturing of this bad boy. Now, I'm going to turn that back on. I'm going to connect a few more places just so it's nice and tight there. Close my eyes and say a prayer. Now I'm just going to run that down through there and get close to that spot well they have. I'm going to draw a line because um, I can follow a line a lot better than just freehand it sometimes. We just want to get away from the spot welds a little bit so we get a little bit of square stock to nail to and this piece of metal lays down flat with that piece of metal. I like the sketch. As you can tell, I got no shell. Wrong tool. <laughs> Wrong tool. 
Long to chew that up, did it? Didn't take long to chew that up. What I mean, chew that up, is that cutting disc didn't take long. Get some spot welds on that and the reason being is we don't want it to take off anywhere or we want to get that metal nailed down so it seems a little more secure now i'm going to knock the welder on and we're going to knock it on every little tap every t when you want something when you're looking for um, things to be tight and you know you're making something you want something to be tight if I come down here and start whacking on this <clears throat> yeah you know you'll get it somewhat close but basically the best the best way to do it is to tack it and hammer beside that tack weld um, that way there that this is holding it for you and the hammers nailing it down for you I'm just going to tack it, or tack it, and then I'll hammer it aside. And it's a darn thing, I, good thing I did, because this one to come off. You can see that? That broke off. Now i got to cut that. Jolene would have tacked it, wouldn't have come off with a baby. A little more, a little bit more mustard on that one. Go down over there. It's gonna come down to the next one. noise I know but can't do this sort of work without noise sorry ladies weld it hammer it weld it hammer it to make sure. Just 
make that look a little better. hit it, it's right there. Yeah. Sometimes I see something. The sad part is you guys can probably see it better than I can because of Jolene's camera work. Working our way down, hoping it fits. <laughs> yeah, I never thought that. Hoping that it fits. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm. Now, grab the third air. Pluck that on nice and tight right, right there. See that holding that up there? Can't have it, don't want it. Actually holding it up there in a couple spots. Don't like that. You don't like something, cut it off and fix it. on that hot spot I did. A little something right there. Hopefully we can run it down and get it on. Good. Actually we got a couple places down here that we're gonna have to fix. And I probably should cut it before I weld that on because I'm not going to get down to it. <clears throat> now, hmm, I'm going to get that now. <clears throat> Just 
like that. Stick that back down in there again. No harm, no foul. Beautiful, I think. We'll just go in between each one, get it down there, see what, see if we get it. Then we can go back. I did it, I did it! Good. That's the corner of the... What I didn't do, I and mean, I should have, my boo-boo. Because I should have ground that outside of that off. Right, right there, so. And we'll... Yeah, a little bit of... It's all right, though. It's not looking too bad. It's on there pretty good. Should have grabbed that little boob off there. But I think that's fine. Once that's welded up, that'll be fine. Grind it off a little bit. Nothing to it. All right, we got that on there. Get a pair of pliers, put the sewing on there. We're at the middle on that, I hope. I'm hoping. Or close to it. And that way there it runs better. If I can run, if I got a, a bunch of metal or I got too much metal, if I got it somewhere, it's not in the middle, but if it was in the middle, it's better. If you get a bunch of metal at one end and not a bunch of metal at the other end, then, then you end up with the puckering, the puckering situation and you have to shrink it. I don't want to shrink it if I don't have to. Are you serious? Piece of weld right there. You can see 
where I'm getting metal there. I'm getting a little bit of metal there. I don't want to, I want to, I got a little bit of metal going there, a little bit of metal going there. I think I'd be better off um, splitting that up. And then I would tacking it tight here and running it all the way down. Then I would have to shrink something. But if I get a little bit of, let's knock a little bit off here. We're gonna have to knock a little bit off. And the reason being is, I do not want to run that down there and then have a great big pucker at the bottom and I'll end up doing the exact same thing right there. Don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. And we got to cut this back so I can get halfway on it. And it's not halfway, but so I can nail it down and not be scared of having no metal to weld to. So I got to half it on this. If I don't half it on this thing, I'm going to be hard pressed to get in there. Put the trailer hitch on, he says. Put the trailer hitch on. I'm getting my way. You know what I mean? That's how it works sometimes. But if I didn't put the trailer hitch on, then I can't, it's hard to find it. It was so hard to get in on this side. This side was okay, because I left it off to do the trailer hitch. But once you start covering things in, it sure does make a difference. All that metal will do on the back side if I don't if I don't knock it off, all the metal will do on the back side is stay there and hold me off of what I'm trying to do. Now, I'm not interested in making a big mess here. I'm just trying to interest it in and splitting up the the excess metal. So I got a little bit of metal there, a little bit of metal there. And then I split that up and run it out. I know it's hard to believe, but that, that, that is my plan. that right on I should have my helmet on. I'm gonna end up cutting that back. Tight down, man. She tight down. We got a good spot there. Everything's going good 
good so far. Just get a little bit of spot here to get. And we got it. It's not making me happy when I do that. It's not making me happy. But anyways. Now we're tight down there. We got our metal tight down there. Then we got some metal down here we gotta get rid of. Seems to be tight. Probably should have ran some more up, up further. A little bit high right there. You don't have to hit something very hard to make it go where you need to go. situation going on down here that I think I want to deal with. I'm not interested in shrink shrinking this piece of metal is what I'm not interested in. And that's where I'm going with that right there. Stick. Please stick. Kind of wondering why. A little bit up there, we're gonna take, we're gonna do it though. Just knock this down. <laughs> it just wants to pucker on this side, doesn't it? Um, it's working me, I can tell you that. I've got a little bit of, you can see, I can see a little bit of a, little bit of a ripple here going on because of the extra metal, and I'm gonna play with it with a hammer. I don't want that really playing with me all the way like it's really making me work it's making me work Then again, we are making a, a different shape going on here. We're making a shape. We got some puckering going on down there, but I think we'll, we'll get her. All right, I'm going to, let's run it this way for a minute. We'll take these off. I'm thinking that this side, this end is going to stay. I'm hoping. Wow. 
what I don't like, what I'm trying not to do, is I'm not trying not to sp run the spot weld over so far when I go to lay that piece of metal on, I gotta do the, what I did up there, but where it's a three quarter inch, there's, there's very little allowance. There's very little allowance for that spot weld to be in the center of, you really have to get it right on the money. So I'm just trying not to run the spot weld over so far that I can't put my other piece on. There, a little bit. When, when, like, when I got, like I say, if I got a little ripple there going on, it's like a little bit of a, where it's too much metal. When I'm heating that, or when I'm hitting that, I'm hoping that the metal is going up here. That's where I'm hoping the metal. I'm, not, I'm trying not to dent it. I'm not trying to dent it in. I'm trying to run it up a little bit because there's lots of area here where this can have shape. And if I just go slow with it, I can slowly run some of it up in there. Put pressure on that metal to take shape. And every little bit I notice, I'll try to fix it as I go. And that way there, when I go to put the two pieces together, I really have something that's worth something. If I don't fix it before I put the two pieces together, then I've got an issue. And the issue is, I still got, I'll have a, like a little uh, whoop-de-woo in the metal, and I won't be able to get at it. Unless I'm a Smurf, and I get underneath the tr truck. I'm a Smurf. Not true. Get one there. Yeah, we still have this up here. That's fine. What's going there? I'm going to lay this all over, lay this all down, all the way up, just like that. And this has got to be beat over. You can see where I beat it over there because we're going to match the other piece up to it. So that's basically just going to stretch that. That needs to be stretched and doesn't need to be shrunken. It needs to be stretched. Stretched, uh, I would say, is probably a little easier thing to do than shrink. But stretch it, just hit it with a hammer. I probably could have took and put more of that metal going this way. I probably could have run a little bit more up this way. Probably a mistake of mine, but I think I got it. Ooh, my legs. A little bit right there. I got a little bit down there. That's gonna take that no problem whatsoever. Just gotta play with that there a little bit, but there was a little, quite a bit of metal there to shrink or to get, or to get rid of. Yeah, let's do a little marker trick. Pull that down. I need some more meat there too. Looks about right. Take that off. Just make sure I get that connected on, that's all. Get a 
best connection yet. Tight down on that, good. Trying to run it off. A little bit going on there. I gotta play with that a little bit with a hammer, obviously. I gotta cut some more off of this. This is this is gonna be an easy part. This is this gonna be an easy part. This has to be stretched. I'm gonna cut that with a zip cut, get it halfway in, in between this, just like up there. Nice and tight, do the exact same thing up there, get it down nice and tight, we got enough metal to do it. That's the easy part. The hard part is the part when you get gumming down here and you got too metal, too much metal, that's the hard part. I'm gonna cut that off and finish that bad boy. No, I'm gonna put this glove back on. I wish I would've ground that off underneath there. I wish I would've ground that off. Quite a bit of metal chop off, that's too much. That's too much. Just chop some off and see how it goes. Gonna grab another zip cut. Ah, I might be able to grind that off down there. That'd be so nice. Alrighty. I think this is gonna work out just fine. Just fine. I'm gonna do that again. No, oh, I'm gonna just plug it on.
Stop it. Good. Get on a little tighter. Feels good. Thinking that we got her. We got a little bit going on here. I'll, I'll play with that. Just kind of tap on it because I don't want to beat it in too bad. Alrighty, we got that piece on. You see what's going to go on here. I can tack that along there. We'll cut that and run that off. But uh, that was a trying piece. And the only reason it was trying because I didn't want to have to do this. I, I've, what can I say? I discovered it before I run into that. When I did this one, I kind of ran it into that big bubble, that big blister, and had to fix it. This one here, I kind of went from the center of the bubble and tried to run the metal out each way. It's coming. It's looking like something, I guess. This had to be put on before I started closing that all in because I would not know how to figure out how to make that work. Thanks everybody for coming back. I appreciate it. If you like what's going on today, throw a like in. If you want to share, that'd be fantastic. And if you want to tell somebody else about subscribing to our daily content uh, in real time um, to fulfill your car needs. Bad Chad and Queen Jolene. Have a great day, everybody.